Welcome back everyone. So this time we are going to see how NCloth has its own preset library. And in the last video we saw how we can create your first simulation, NCloth simulation, dynamic cloth. And in this video we are going to see how you can make your simulation even better. And I have an old video where I demonstrated how Arnold has its own preset library of materials where you can create brush materials, chromes, clay and so on. So similarly to that, NCloth has its own preset library where you have different kinds of cloth simulations. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate how all of those work and how that can pretty much speed up your overall process. So let's take a simple plane here and I'm going to take another sphere and put it right about there and I'm going to choose a subdivision of something like a 30 and 30. Let's go to the FX tab and uh, end cloth. Click on this passive collider and uh, I think we are good to go. So let's play this now. So this is what we have a pretty default looking cloth simulation. So what you can do here is you can go to your uh, cloth here, go to attribute editor and then you have this cloth menu, cloth shape. If you want this, you can go into the cloth shape and then you are into the overall menu here. So here you have something called as preset and you can use all these presets to pretty much change your how your cloth behaves to the overall collision and how your cloth overall behaves to the gravity and so on. So what we have here is like an airbag. So let's use this. And right now it's working pretty weirdly because an airbag should be pretty close geometry. So what I can do here is let me just take another plane and let me just turn off the grid and let me take another sphere. Bring this up and I can make this something like a passive collider, make this uh, end cloth material. And I can make this one airbag since this is a closed geometry. I don't think airbag will work on a geometry that is completely open. So let's see how this one behaves to this. All right, so as you can see, this one perfectly behaves to the overall uh, preset here because the airbag, because the primitive is pretty closed here. On the other hand, the plane is pretty open. That's why the N-cloth simulation is not working exactly how it's supposed to be. So depending upon what kind of presets you are using, that will implement the overall how your geometry is going to behave. So you have to be careful what you're using, um, like for example, beach ball. Beach ball is supposed to be pretty close geometry as well. So what we can do here is I can select this and I can go to beach ball and let's see how an open geometry reacts to something like a closed geometry should. And right now, as you can see, this is how it's reacting. So this is not exactly how the beach ball is supposed to react. So I'm going to select this one now and I'm going to say beach ball replace and let's see how this one behaves. So instantly it kind of inflates right because of the overall gravity we have here so it kind of re reacts perfectly to the overall closed geometry here but not exactly how it's supposed to be to an open geometry so it totally depends upon what you're using if it's going to simulate perfectly or not so if you're using something like an airbag or beach ball make sure your geometry is closed otherwise the simulation will not be perfect all right so let's see let's select something like maybe a concrete all right, so as you can see, this is pretty rigid now and it, it has created some kind of dent here. So the, because it's the overall concrete surface now and let's choose honey. All right, so as you can see, it's reacting exactly as the honey would. It's kind of dripping now. And so you have a bunch of presets here to play around with. Like, for example, I can make this plastic shell and let's see how it reacts. So this is reacting exactly as a plastic cloth will. And then you have maybe a silk. So let's go with this. And you have nice silk material going on, nice cloth simulation going on. So this worked pretty nicely as well. So you can use thick leather, solid rubber and so on. Play around with this presets to see how you, it per fits perfectly to the overall project you have. And if you want to just use a preset and just change a few things, what you can do is you can get into the dynamic properties here and you can play around with this. Like, for example, you have stretch resistance, how much resistance it's going to put towards the overall stretchness and I can lower the value. And if I play this again, as you can see, so I can change this. I can add more resistance towards this and now it's reacting towards that so i can add more resistance 
and it's reacting to this so I can make zero resistance and now as you can see the cloth is kind of slipping away so let me add some resistance to this okay so we have bunch of presets to work along with our cloth if you are stuck into some kind of cloth simulation it's not working exactly as it's supposed to be so what you can do is you can play around with the overall preset here to get exactly what kind of look you are going for so what you can do here is you can add maybe a simple plane created a passive collider then you can take a simple torus here and maybe add a end cloth and then you can choose a preset like a water balloon and if i play this now as you can see you have pretty interesting looking simulation going on like a water balloon would so you can play around with this and create some amazing looking stuff like an airbag or something so this looks pretty nice to me and you can just play around with different kinds of primitive to see what kind of effect you are going to get and i think i'll go with this one and now it creates something like this so this was pretty amazing so just dive into how the overall primitives work maybe take a cylinder and so on and just start creating your end cloth material and mess around with different kinds of things to see how overall everything reacts to the overall primitive and apart from that uh, that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one